Hello sweet angels and thank you for joining my channel. In my today's video I will share with you this makeup look which I hope that you will like and you will enjoy. And of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me in future, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let's get started. As a base for my face I'm gonna be using rose hip cold pressed organic oil which I'm really in love with. I will apply it also on my neck. Then I'm gonna be color correcting a little bit my face and I have some brown spots on my forehead and a little bit to cover the under eye circles and of course I'm talking on the phone all day. So I blend this with a sponge, just a little bit, you could skip this step of course. I will also moisture my lips with Baby Balm by Maybelline. And now I'll show you some new things that I'm gonna be using from Clinique. First is Dramatically Different Moisturizer Lotion. And the other one is BIY Blend It Yourself Pigment Drops. I'm gonna be mix them on the back of my hand like this. I need three coverage, uh, three, excuse me, three drops for a full coverage effect. And then I start applying it on my face. According to me, this moisturizing lotion is too light to make a full coverage on your face. And because of this, I decided to reapply it and then I still didn't receive a full coverage and because of this I changed the moisturizer. But by the way it's not bad for daytime look. Now I will try to mix these drops with the other Clinique moisturizer, it's Clinique Smart with SPF 15. I will try to mix it with a little bit of this on the back of my hand because this texture is thick and thicker. Okay, I will shake these drops again and again and again drops for a full coverage. Yeah, yeah. This cream, yeah, it becomes definitely a lot more full coverage, but not too heavy on your face. And now it's time to apply the concealer. This one is from LA Girl Pro Concealers. I actually didn't ever believe that I will become in love with these sponges like Beauty Blenders, but this one is just perfect. It's super simple. It's from Primark. It costs no more than one and a half or two pounds but it's really so so smooth and so easy to work with now i will contour my face first with a liquid contour and actually this is a foundation from makeup forever but i can't see on the bottle the real name of this foundation This Makeup Forever HD foundation is super easy to be blend, doesn't matter that it's so darker color than my actual skin tone. And now to lighten up the area under the cheekbones, I'm using this Maybelline concealer in the shade light, I believe. I definitely would, I definitely would make this uh, kind of banana shade and to apply it oh, under the eye area. Expert Face Brush by Real Technic. I will change it with this more, change it with this more, so it's kind of a tapered brush and it is going to be a little bit easier to apply it under the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
I will apply this shade to contour. Maybe I will mix it a little bit with this. It's a little bit more frosty. And wow, I'm super impressed. This NYX contour palette is extremely pigmented and you need to work carefully with it. And I will contour my nose just a little bit, nothing too harsh. This one is a kind of highlighting shade, but it was not so pigmented as I wanted to be for this makeup look, so I decided to change it with the first lightest color on this palette, which is a lot more shimmery. Now I will feel quickly, I will skip this step or maybe speed it a little bit because this is just a normal brow filling and the pencil that I'm using is Brow Artist Expert by L'Oreal. I'm priming my lids with the same concealer that I have used uh, under the eye area. And now I'm just setting the, with powder to make the eyeshadows a little bit more resistant. And now I will highlight the brow bone area with the last highlighter that I have used on my cheekbones. This is such a lovely frost color. And now I decide to mix several drops of the rose hip oil with the glitter that I'm gonna be using on my eyelid. This is a glitter collection by BH Cosmetics in the shade Silver. and removing the excess glitter from my face. And now I will do the liquid liner. This one is from NYX. But believe me, it's so difficult to apply an eyeliner over the glitter. The mascara that I'm using today is Full Lash Superstar X Fiber by L'Oreal and actually is the one that I'm using in the past one and a half months. And this is a professional lip palette by BH Cosmetics and this is the color that I chose to wear with this makeup look. I have applied the false lashes off camera because it was so glittery everywhere. Yeah, and finally I actually forgot to apply a blush. This was one super forgotten blush by me. It is by Golden Rose in the color Shimmer Rose 05. And at the end I decided to apply a little bit more contour over the forehead just to bronze and to warm up a little bit more. And this is the final look. I really hope you like it. I really hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video.